guys welcome back to eco freak youtube channel this is the next video of parasitology video series that explain morphology symptoms treatment and control methods of protozoan and helmin parasites for more videos please subscribe my channel trichodina species this is a ciliate parasite in the outer region we can see so many cilia for the locomotion and they have a specific shape known as disc shaped or the saucer shaped and having a denticle band here you can see the denticle band or the oral disc teeth that's a characteristic feature of the trichodina they are having a cytoskeletal denticles and the disease they cause is known as trichodiniasis the primary host is the fish. Only one host is involving in the life cycle. So the host is fish. Typically, they can infect the gills, skins and the fins of the fishes. And they are ectoparasites on these gills, skins and the fins. Not the endoparasites. They are ectoparasites and having a single direct life cycle only one host is involving in the life cycle so the disease can transmit by direct contact if an infected fish touches another fish then that fish can get the disease that means direct contact if an infected fish uh, touch another fish then that fish can get the disease by the active swimming of the trichonids the life stage known as the trichonids can directly pass from one host to another host. That means one fish to another fish. So this is the infective stage. Most of the fishes can get this trichodiniasis when we are doing the aquaculture because of the poor water quality and the eutrophication as well as the overcrowding. These are the reasons for the trichodiniasis. If the aquaculture bond is having the poor water quality, overcrowding with more fishes and the eutrophication can lead to the cause of the trichodiniasis. So this parasite can cause extreme stress in the fishes because they can form the ulcers in the fishes. They can damage to the fins as well as skins of the fishes and they can form the ulcers here you can see the ulcers so to remove the pathogen they can uh, rub their skin against the surface of the fish tank and that can cause to the ulcer and the bacterial infection so these are the symptoms of the trichodiniasis scratching and flashing that means uh, normally if we get a Mm, this is in our skin. Normally, we are doing the scratching like that. If these fishes got the trichodiniasis, they are doing the scratching and the flashing. And the ulcers, they will stop the feeding. And fish trying to get isolated from the other fishes, they are not going to stay with their fishes, but they're trying to isolate from the other fishes. So they lay at the bottom uh, with the clamped fins. They are normally stay at the bottom if they got the trichodiniasis they are lazy to do the moving and also the lethargy that means lazy as well as irritated skin these are the symptoms for the trichodiniasis here you can see the ulcers that is the main identification feature of the trichodiniasis so for the diagnosis we can take the mucus scraping on the uh, suspected fish. Mucus scraping we can take from the fins as well as from the skin because it can infect the fins and the skin of the fishes. So we can take the mucus scraping from those uh, skin and the uh, fins. From that we can observe that under microscope then we can identify the trichonids. Okay, these are the trichonids. And for the treatment, this is ectoparasite. I told you this is ectoparasite on the fishes. So for the ectoparasitic diseases in the fish, we can do the potassium permanganate bath as well as the formalin bath. 
these are very common treatments if any fish got the ectoparasitic diseases. For the control, we can uh, manage the water quality as well as the avoid overcrowding and we can give this to fishes. These are the things to control the trichodenia. Mm -hmm.